welcome back. I'm here with the lovely Dido. We're having a little chat and some tea and sarnies, Very right? Very nice. Yeah, people <laughs> don't know what sarnies are here. Oh, okay. That's like a, a slang word for a sandwich. Exactly. Right, little yeah. sarnie. Sarnies. Cup of tea. cut off. It's all yes. very posh. All very Lovely. posh, isn't it? <laughs> now, talk about posh, Dido. Your real name. I can't even read it, let I alone say it. I, don't, I didn't know how to spell it until I was about ten. Go on, say it. <laughs> Tell <laughs> everybody your real name. Then you um, know why she goes by Dido. It's, uh, well, it's Dido, Florian, Cloud, Abunviel, O'Malley, Armstrong, but the, some of them won't even fit on my passport. <laughs> <laughs> my parents were, you know, That's whatever. the longest name. Now, did your mum give you that name because she's yeah. into poetry, so... Well, no, she actually came... She, my dad kept saying before my christening, what's she going to be called, what's she going to be called? And mum literally just surprised him on the day. She just came out with this name, and my dad's just like, oh, my God. But, you know, I just dealt with it <laughs> It's the that. right mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I think she, it was a bit of a last-minute one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like Sue Baker or, you know... Exactly. It was hell when I was a kid, like proper hell when I yeah. was at school. I was not at a school that you could have a name Dido and then all the rest of them either. It wasn't cool. You got picked on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I imagine you got picked on because you didn't have a telly either, did you? Yeah, exactly. So I didn't know anything that was going on. How come your mum didn't want you to watch the TV? I don't know. She just didn't want one in the house. So I could go around my mate's house. I used to go around my mate's house on a Wednesday to watch Dallas and that was it. So that's my only frame of reference. <laughs> was Dallas. <laughs> All 70s and 80s was Dallas and, um, and Top of the Pops. And that was it, really. And um, she just didn't want one in the house. And then we smuggled one in once. And uh, my dad smuggled one in. And we used to go upstairs and watch it. It was teeny. And she found it one day. A and little came black and white one, right? Yeah, like teeny little thing. And she, she, she'd thrown it out the window. I came home from school and it was just in bits. <laughs> like, all now, across the garden. Does. Rock bands usually do that, know, right? Not your mum. <laughs> no, your mum. <laughs> No, it's, I think it's probably still in there's little bits of it in the garden. But, still um, there. Yeah. Oh, and I was reading because I, I always get my English papers and, I, and I'm reading in the papers and it's like on every front page about how your CD has just gone ballistic in England. And it's like selling through the roof and in one day it's... <laughs> it's, it's sold more than any other record in just one day and it's it's... It's, it's such crazy. great news to I read. I know. Probably my mum, actually, buying those copies, <laughs> you know what I mean? She's, like, <laughs> down there every two minutes. And, uh, no, I was completely freaked out. They sort of rang me last week, and I, I couldn't actually take it in because I was here. You know, it's that thing of, like, yeah. you're sort of busy doing something else. And then when it re the realisation dawns, it's fantastic. Well, congratulations. You. you deserve it. You really do. I know that you always put so much back into it. I was reading that you took your fans on a plane trip. Yeah, that was last week. That was so much fun. And now uh, we, like, chartered this whole, um, you know, jumbo jet. And, and a whole all, jumbo jet? Yeah, and I have my name on the side. <laughs> Bloody hell. Who paid for that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I hope it wasn't me. <laughs> Good point. It's coming and, uh, out of your yeah, Exactly. Me. And uh, no, I was just completely blown away. I just couldn't believe it. And um, it was this competition we ran. And then basically we all got, we filled the plane with competition winners and press and stuff. And then we all, I did a concert in New York, in, the, uh, in London in the morning and then in the evening in New York. And uh, it was just fantastic. That must have been so much cool. fun. It was a really I, sort of good way to launch the album. I can cool. imagine the yeah. atmosphere on that jumbo. Oh, it's crazy. Was everybody, was I mean, there must have been like little gremlins jumping up and down, <laughs> right? <laughs> There was just, everyone was just so up for it. And there was just like, it's real, because there were people from all over the world. It was from like Brazil, America, you know, the whole of Europe, mm -hmm. everywhere. And um, it was just so much fun. But by the end of the night, where it sort of ended at this party, we'd all been up for like 26 hours. And even the cabin crew at the party just smashed. Do you know what I mean? Just like everyone. The pilots there just with like, his hat yeah, like exactly. that, right? It was, like, <laughs> totally. it was great, though. Well, all right. I want to know something about your songs. Because I know your mum was a... She's a poet. Yeah. And and your lyrics, do you get that from your mum? I don't know, because she'll never let us see any of her poems. Stop. She's written you've thousands. Never, you've never well, I have, but I don't need her to know that, because I found them. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sneaking around when I was younger, and I found them. But I'm not meant to tell her that. And um, she doesn't know. But, yeah, she just writes these poems. She's like, won't show them to anyone. But the ones I found were amazing. You know, but she just never shows them. 
But did you, do you think that you got your love of language from her? Yeah, I think so, and from my dad as well, and just from sort of, and my brother really. I mean, my brother had, had like written a book by the time he was 13, and it's partly because we didn't have a TV. Like, my brother was writing stories to read me at bedtime, which was sort mm -hmm. of, you know, sweet. So he'd make up these amazing stories and, and then sort of turn them into a book. And your brother <clears throat> produces, and mm. he's also a DJ. Yeah. And you used to, didn't you start out by singing on all his, on yeah. All his work? Yeah, I sort of, I, I would sing with his band Faithless and, and sort of, you know, make the tea and try and get in there and do a little bit yeah, of singing. Get a bit <laughs> yeah, pushy, exactly. get, you know, I can do that. Don't right. worry, I'll do it. You know, when the, when the real singer doesn't turn up. So, um, yeah, no, that's great. I've, I've been working with him for a long time. And it's, it's amazing that you were working for such a long time and then it was the Gwyneth Paltrow movie where they had your song in that really mm. started it for you. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, I mean, I still don't know how they got the copy because it was way before the album came out. I think it was just friends passing it on. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that was a big start for me. And is that where Eminem heard your Yeah, first they heard sampled you? it from that, yeah. you know, because it was advertising the movie as well. And on the t by the time it had reached the TV, and then that's how it got sampled in the first place. And do you still speak to old Eminem? Um, hardly ever. I saw him about a year ago. I'm and fascinated by him. He is amazing. I mean, he's the, honestly one of the most like charismatic and charming people I've ever met. Like, but I incredible. like him because you don't know a lot about him. Exactly. He never talks to a lot of people and he's always in the background. I know. He's just cool and he was so charming and so nice to work with. And I just, I had a, like, a proper respect for him as an artist. Yeah. You know, there's no one that has even come close to doing what he does. You no, know, he's, he's incredible. He's brilliant. He is, he's brilliant. Thank you for being here oh, with me. It's my pleasure. Thank no, you. Thanks for my, my tea. My pleasure. And you have a safe journey back home. I will. All right. Cool. Thank Wish you. I was coming with you. <laughs>